Riding the brakes. Understanding a common English phrase. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore an interesting English phrase, ride the brakes. This phrase isn't just about driving. It carries a deeper meaning in everyday English conversation. Let's dive in and understand its usage and context. Stay tuned. Ride the brakes is an idiomatic expression often used in English. Literally, it refers to a driver who constantly keeps their foot on the brake pedal of a vehicle, even when it's not necessary. However, figuratively, it means to be overly cautious or to slow down progress in a situation. This expression is commonly used to describe someone's approach in various aspects of life, such as in business, relationships, or personal decisions. To better understand this phrase, let's look at some examples. 1. In a work scenario, our team could have completed the project earlier, but John was riding the brakes, always double-checking everything. 2. In personal decision-making, I know you're nervous about moving to a new city, but don't ride the brakes. Sometimes, you have to take a leap of faith. 3. In relationships, she's really riding the brakes in her new relationship, probably because her last one ended badly. These examples show how the phrase is used to describe excessive caution or hesitation. The origin of ride the brakes comes from automotive language. It's a literal action that drivers sometimes do, especially when they are uncertain or afraid. This action, when applied metaphorically to life situations, perfectly captures the essence of being overly cautious or tentative. Now that you understand what it means to ride the brakes, try using it in your conversations. Remember, it's best used in situations where someone is being unnecessarily slow or cautious. It's a great phrase to add to your English vocabulary for describing such scenarios. We hope this video has given you a clear understanding of the phrase, ride the brakes. It's a great example of how English uses everyday terms to express more complex ideas. Don't forget to practice using it in your conversations. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.